Hi, welcome to another refresh tutorial and today I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on what to do when your Epson printer gives you the infamous error, parts inside your printer have reached the end of their service life. And what this means in essence is you've done a sufficient amount of pages on your printer for it to believe the foamy ink pads in the bottom have become saturated with ink and you're at the risk of ink spilling out into your printer and causing damage both to the machine and the surrounding area. Now Epson don't consider their machines serviceable and do recommend you take them to one of their dedicated service centers to get the parts replaced and have the counter reset. Now if you have the money the most effective thing to do would be to take it to an Epson service center. However as many customers have rightly pointed out to me the cost of getting these parts replaced will often outweigh the value of a new printer. And if you find yourself in this situation and you can't really afford to go to the service center and get your printer repaired, or even if you've just had a good use out the printer and you're ready to retire it or purchase a new printer and demote this to some menial tasks, my personal advice would be to head over to www.ssclg.com forward slash Epson E dot shtml. And on this website you can download a free piece of software that will allow you to reset the page counter inside your printer, allowing you to continue printing. However, the software is not compatible with all Epson printers. And before we go any further, I'd advise you check that your printer is listed on the website or in the more info section of this video. If it isn't, then please don't lose hope as there are many other people out there who've developed software just for this purpose. And I would advise going onto eBay and searching for the model of your printer to see if there's a piece of software out there that can do the very same job for you. If however your printer is listed, I would advise having a quick flick through the user agreement and then down downloading the software. And whilst the SSC website does only currently list certain operating systems as being compatible, as you can see I'm using Windows 7 and I can confirm the software works just fine for me. Once downloaded, the installation takes a matter of seconds and once completed, you're safe to click run on the SSC service utility so we can begin. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to configuration and change your printer in the drop down box to the machine that we need to reset the counter for. With this done, click the X in the top right of the window and the utility will be reduced to the bottom right of your screen. With this done, right click the logo which is represented by a printer surrounded by cyan, magenta and yellow and then go to protection counter and then simply click reset protection counter. From here you'll get a dialog box that asks if you replace the ink pad. Now it's important to realize that just resetting the counter won't actually cure the problem inside your printer if a problem is present and any ink that has been absorbed by the pads will still be in there. Now if you're experienced in such matters or you feel confident and are just ready to write off the printer if this doesn't work feel free to take out the ink pads and either replace them or give them a good clean to make sure there isn't any excessive amounts of ink in there. Otherwise, simply open up the top of your printer like you would do to change the ink cartridges. And if you take a peek inside, you should be able to see the sponges in question. Now this is far from the most effective way to clean your printer, but I would advise taking a couple sheets of kitchen tissue, or any other non-fibrous tissue, folding them over a few times, and then simply dabbing the sponge repeatedly, working backwards and forwards, and checking the tissue for ink. Now once you're confident you've removed all the ink from there and no more ink is being absorbed by the tissue, you're pretty much good to go. So feel free to indicate to the software that you have indeed changed the ink pads. And if you follow this method, I would strongly recommend from this point onwards just keeping a BDI on your printer to make sure that the ink isn't building up in there too much to avoid damage to your printer or staining your desk or anything else in the vicinity. But with the reset and the clean performed, you're ready to go and continue to get some more use out of your printer. And that's about all there is to say. So I hope this video was useful to you. And if you've used this software before and have anything extra to say, or you've just performed this and you're now back up and printing, please do let us know. It's always great to hear from you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.